actually enjoying uh, telling Speaker Pelosi to kiss my mask, though. In America, we, we see more deaths by hands, fists, feet, even hammers. And, uh, you know, are we going to start legislating that away? Are we going to be uh, like these other countries who even ban knives? I mean, if, if hammers are the cause of more deaths than firearms, then maybe we need to start having background checks on hammers. I mean, look out, Black & Decker. We're already coming after manufacturers for firearms. Maybe you're next. Several other colleagues joined me in refusing to wear a mask on the House floor. Uh, Thomas Massey and I both got warnings and uh, both of our letters ended up in the same exact place, ironically, the trash. <laughs> Leftists <laughs> won't even listen to the bureaucratic, uh, the bureaucrats at the CDC. And it just goes to show that this party's follow the science slogan is a total joke, just like this entire administration, just like the entire Democrat party. Um, they, they wanna tell you to listen to science and listen to data and facts, but they haven't done that for more than a year. Uh, two weeks to slow the spread turned into communism really, really quickly. Now it's show me your yeah. papers. Uh, but don't forget, Gina, Texas removed their mask mandate two months ago and Sleepy Joe called it Neanderthal thinking. No, sir, Republicans are just following the science. And since removing the mask mandate two months ago, Texas has not reported a single COVID death, not one. Oh my God. I thought that I had been, like I try to follow what's going on with COVID. I, that's an amazing success story. Why are more people in the lamestream media talking about that? Oh, because mm -hmm. it's made up. She just totally made it up. I love that she makes essentially a slippery slope argument. And the slope on which that argument is based itself just flies out from under her. It's one of those things where like, if you're plagued with doing enough research to understand the point that they're trying to make, but you know mm -hmm. that they don't have to be smart enough to make that point. And uh, their audience isn't interested in them having any logical consistency whatsoever. What she's trying to say, here's the, here's the, the modicum of truth is that if you combine people who are killed with blunt objects in America, yes. that number is bigger than the number of people in three years ago who were killed by rifles specifically, okay? Mm -hmm. Rifles specifically. So that's like saying, listen, and, and, and so what she ends up saying is that she gets rid of that argument and she then focuses on hammers, that's not, that is one portion of a large um, category of things. She signals singles that out and says hammers when hammers are probably responsible for maybe like nine, I don't know, nine to a hundred deaths a year. And then she makes a huge mistake saying that their hammers are responsible for more deaths than all firearms. No, no, no. There's thousands of deaths from handguns every year. There's thousands of deaths from handguns plus all other kinds of firearms. Your argument makes absolutely no sense. But I love how at the beginning she's like, she is combining a bunch of stuff together. She's like, if she we die, more people, it. she doesn't get her own point. If more people die from hammers and guns and feet and shoes and lightning. And it's like, yeah, I'm. if you combine every kind of way to die together, you'll eventually get to a number that is higher than the thing you need a stat to be higher than.